recapping this week's key events that we have seen. Trading has been relatively light as market participants' sole focuses have been on Jackson Hole, which will dictate trading going forward. Nevertheless, there are still some points to highlight. Starting off with the Euro, we did observe stronger manufacturing PMIs across the board. A particular standout being Germany, really bucking the trend there. So what this is showing is we're seeing multiple, multiple indicators of good signs of recovery for the block then, which is really good. The only laggard, as we know, without sounding like a broken record, is subdued prices and low inflation there. But looking at the Euro in terms of opportunities on the buy side, does still look very attractive to me, particularly looking at Euro dollar, still eyeing 120 plus there. to its recent gains that we haven't been observing in the market, really outperforming its counterparts. We observe stronger than expected Canadian retail sales, so consumers are spending. This falls nicely after, uh, around a week ago, we saw a pickup in prices or inflation. Really encouraging for the Bank of Canada then, in terms of them being on their path to tightening up policy and raising rates. Looking at uh, opportunities for dollar cad or loony as we know it, the downside still looks attractive to me. I'm looking at uh, a break of 120 uh, over the coming weeks or so, so keep an eye on that. Looking over in the UK then, second reading GDP, little change in line with analyst expectations there, no movement. Something that really stood out to me though guys was business investment continuing to drop, really stagnating since the UK actually voted to leave the EU. Obviously we haven't officially divorced yet, but the Bank of England even noted they're seeing real signs of negative effects of Brexit um, taking place. And if business investment in the UK continues to reduce, it's gonna lead to some serious problems for us. Um, as a country, which is not good there. For the pound, then still looks vulnerable across the board, particularly cable, I-126 to the downside. <music> Lastly then, looking over in the United States of America, the US dollar, we did see weak housing data in the form of new and existing home sales, which is not good. I did Weigh on the dollar slightly. What I would say is, for me, what this looks as, we are seeing obviously good labour market data, but we can't just say just because labour market data is good, the, the rest of the economy is holding strong, or, or, or that accounts for the whole economy, because it doesn't. There are still many other laggards or points to know for the US that just shows the, rec the economy is still not where it needs to be for the Federal Reserve to give them enough confidence to continue on their tightening of policy. And as I say, I don't see that rate hype, that other rate hype before this year end. Um, and what, very lastly then, as we head into the first and second weeks of September, as people come back from their lovely holidays, we could see a pickup in flows back into the riskier assets. Uh, so that's it from me. I hope you've had a smashing trading week and have a great weekend. Thank you.